Howdy friends, thanks for joining me in the shop today. There's another part of my shop, and right now I've switched into making these 3D printed masks. You see I've got one going right here. We've already made some other parts for it. There's a lot of interest up on my Facebook page when I put this out there that, that we were messing with this, the family, we were messing with this this weekend. I did not realize how bad people were hurting not having something like this. I came up with a way that I felt very strongly about, and so I wanted to explain it to you. What my son and I did was we came up with a mask that would actually come apart and it would have replaceable filters. We set about designing all of the pieces so that they can just interchange and go on. The use of waterproof tape to line the insides also can be used to take up any gaps that you might have. It can be clean with alcohol, can be washed and reused. I tried to put up some Facebook videos and of course the live stream has just crashed with everybody trying to do things. So I thought that I would just make a YouTube video and tell you about the components of what we have. The unit consists of the mask itself. It consists of a bre breathing grate and the cap. Inside the cap are these filters. The filter that we decided to use, because there's no charcoal paper available, there's no N95 paper or anything like that. What we decided to use was this was available in our area, a 3M 1500, which is rated to catch viruses. It's rated to catch viruses at one micron. The coronavirus that's presently going on is the actual virus is smaller than that but it has to be carried in a fatty cell, gets stopped by a lot of the filters. Filter above the 1500 is called the 1900, which is not available in our area. If you can find a 1900, that filters out, it's the N95 by our research that, that we've done. And we may be wrong, but Based on the claims from the companies and reading stuff on the CDC, that's what it kind of looks like. So if you can find a 1900, that's a 95%. This 1500 is a 90%. That's pretty good odds. I'm not going to say what the normal surgical mask is in, used every day in surgeries. That's for other people to debate. This is what we did. We've made a template. And so we cut these filters out and we can install them in the cover and they just snap in place. An N95 mask, a little side note on that, you're only supposed to wear it for about eight hours. That's one work shift. So if you have an N95 mask, if you wear it more than eight hours, technically it's done. So what we've done here, part of the goal was to make this where it's reusable and you can just cut some new pieces. Right now in our area, there's no elastic because everybody's trying to make a cloth mask. They're trying to sew a cloth mask as fast as they can. So there's no elastic. I went to a um, big box store and other places. These are large hair bands. I guess, you know, for ladies that, ladies that have hair, <laughs> it takes two of these per mask they're just looped in. I just tied a simple knot and they can be adjusted however you need. The waterproofing tape is readily available. It's a roll. This is five yards. I think I bought this for like four dollars. In fact, this is the generic. I think I bought it for four and a half dollars. So it can be, if it starts peeling off, you can take it off. You can wipe the unit down with alcohol or wash it in soap and water and let it dry put it back together 
You can add more tape to it. You can layer the tape on top to hit any kind of spots. All the, all the parts are just sourced using what I have available in my area. The frame we felt very strongly about that it fits the face, getting the contours of that right. So that's the components and that's how it works. If you know someone who has a 3D printer or you are into 3D printing, anything like that, if you would like the files, the STL files, I will happily send them to you. I'm more than happy to pass along this information. My email address is wlmrepair at gmail.com and I will be happy to send the files that we've put together and let you get started. Everybody stay safe, wash your hands, keep positive thoughts. We're going to get through this together. Have a nice day.